Y'all ready for some homemade lemon meringue pie? Now, y'all, this ain't my recipe. This is Miss Brenda D's recipe. But it's the best lemon meringue pie recipe that I have found and the closest to it was lemon meringue pie. So, y'all, I'm going to put a link in the description to Miss Brenda's YouTube channel. So, y'all go over there and check it out because she got more than the lemon meringue pie. She got a lot of good recipes, okay? So, let me show y'all how I do it. Okay, y'all, we're going to start with our crust. I got some graham crackers right here. I'm tossing them into Miss Barbara. I'm going to go ahead and mash them up until they get real fine fine enough to make a crust with so now i'm just going to add in a little butter because y'all know butter makes it better i'm going to mix that all around until that butter coat all them crackers and then i'm going to pour it into my baking dish now when i get it into my baking dish i'm going to take my measuring cup and i'm going to mash it all around the bottom and the sides it should be looking like this now into the oven it goes for about 10 minutes while my crust is in the oven i'm gonna go ahead and make my filling now i'm gonna separate my egg yolks from my egg whites and i'm doing it the old school way now all you perfectionists don't come for me in these comments telling me how i should have done these eggs it's gonna be okay it's kale's way not your way now i got my egg whites right here and i I got my egg yolk so we ready to roll so now i'm gonna add my condensed milk to my bowl once i get all that in i'm gonna go ahead on and make sure i scrape it to get every single drop now once i get that in there i'm gonna add in some lemon juice then i'm going in with some vanilla after that i'm going in with my egg yolks and then i'm gonna go ahead on and give that a mix just a little mix just to get it started now I'm going to go in with my hand mixer and I'm going to mix it up really, really good, y'all. I want this batter to start getting thick. So once it gets thick, I'm going to go ahead on and pour it into my pie crust, okay? Now I did let this pie crust cool down for a few minutes. Now once I get it in there, I'm just going to spread it out to make sure it's even. So now it's time to make the meringue. Now that Miss Barbara is all cleaned up again, I added in my egg whites and then I added in some sugar. After that, I went in with my hand mixer and I started mixing. So what I'm looking for right now is for my egg whites to come up to a stiff peak. So it's going to take a while. I got to be patient. So y'all be patient. Keep on mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing until it gets really, really thick and come up to a stiff peak. Okay, so it's going to take a while. Again, be patient. So now that it's up to a stiff peak, you see how the peaks are peeking out? You see it? You see it? That's what you call a stiff peak. Now it's time to add it to the pie. So I'm going to take those egg whites. I'm going to spread them across the top of that pie and make sure I cover the whole entire top. I don't want to spread this evenly, y'all. I want to fluff it up a bit, just like that. Now into the oven it go for 12 minutes. Movie magic, y'all. It's out of the oven. It's all done. Now it's time to cool. It did cool, y'all. I did pop it in the fridge for a little while, but my greedy spirit kept screaming at me, so I had to go and pull it out and cut it up, y'all. My first cut didn't go so well, so I ended up cutting it again because everybody started eating it, and again and again, and y'all, until the power was gone. But finally, I did get a pretty good shot for y'all. Y'all, look at this masterpiece right here. Y'all already know what's next. I got to give it a taste. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh-wee. Look at my face, y'all. This the truth. Mm, 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 mm. that's so good oh my god that's so good y'all got me scraping crumbs over here as my husband say claude have mercy that's good right there